So we all know how controversial school curriculum has become. Over the weekend, two of the most high-profile governors in the nation are in a heated back and forth that many in the media are pouncing on. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Vice President Kamala Harris sparring over Florida's new black history teachings and whether the lesson plan minimizes slavery. And in California, a school board agreeing to adopt an LGBTQ curriculum after twice rejecting it. This after California Governor Gavin Newsom threatened a $1.5 million fine as they initially refused. This comes as a fight over parents demanding more of a say in their kids' education is playing out across the country. Niall Standage, our friend from the Hill, with me right now. Niall, let's start in Florida. Uh, this controversy, uh, it really centers on just one sentence in this new uh, curriculum? It does indeed, Adrian. This is about the teaching of slavery, and the sentence is about how slaves, and this is the, develop, the exact quote, developed skills which, in some instances, could be applied for their personal benefit. And I think it's the word benefit that is really the problem here. Critics saying that you really shouldn't be talking about personal benefits to human beings subjected to such a dehumanizing system. Defenders saying, look, this is one sentence within a whole extensive curriculum that does go into the entirety of the history of slavery. It's interesting because rather than bickering, both sides could really come together on some of the more positive attributes of this uh, curriculum, like the fact that even scholars at Black History Scholars are saying there's a positive focus on some of the contributors to society like Booker T. Washington, even though his uh, great successes have been marred by controversy. He was born a slave and became an advisor to presidents. George Washington Carver, who most students and even grown-ups don't know much about. Uh, but Kamala Harris is saying Florida is pushing propaganda. How so? She is arguing that it is a minimization of slavery and that it is part of a broader pattern of minimizing the black experience. So this argument is commonly heard from Democrats and liberals, and they cite things like Governor DeSantis's pushing of the so-called Stop Woke Act, his opposition to critical race theory, and of course that big row from a few months ago that you'll remember over the advanced placements uh, course on African-American history, his Board of Education uh, kicked back hard against the curriculum there as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens as a result of this uh, fighting, public fighting, but yet the school board uh, and the uh, governor have the power to change that curriculum because of his strong uh, governor laws. Uh, meanwhile, there was another curriculum fight in California where a school district initially stood up to Gavin Newsom uh, only to concede over the weekend. Can you talk about that? I can. This is about a curriculum that mentions Harvey Milk, the first openly gay person elected to office in California. Um, basically, the school district didn't want to accept a curriculum that mentioned Harvey Milk in supplementary materials for young elementary school children. They voted down that curriculum. Governor Newsom said, you can't do that because doing so contravenes a state law. I'm going to fine you 1.5 million bucks. Woo. And the school district essentially conceded the point, though, uh, with clear ill feeling. Yeah, 1.5 million. Is that going to come back to bite Newsom, you think, uh, especially with the voting? Because, uh, you know, Congressman Darrell Issa accusing uh, him of bullying. But clearly there are people who think you shouldn't overstep what a school district wants to do. Other people are saying it's part of our history. Get over it. Yeah, exactly. This is a really fascinating point because there was that law that I mentioned passed in California before Governor Newsom was ever in office. And it stipulated that the teaching of social science had to include the contributions of lesbian and gay people and transgender people. Now, clearly, Harvey Milk comes under that category. I mean, he was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. But it has got crossways, this debate has got crossways, with the push, particularly by conservative parents, to have more uh, control over what their children are taught. And so there's just this ongoing clash of which this is one more manifestation. Yeah, and, and I think in a lot of school districts, if a parent disagrees with the curriculum, they're just having their kids stay home now, having them take a day where they go to the library and read a book because they don't want their kid learning about, you know, gender affiliated or, or gender studies uh, or LGBTQ plus curriculum or critical race theory. Oh, let's just keep on going. Uh, Niall Standage, clearly this is a big topic and it will be even bigger approaching 2024 and the election. Thank you so much for being here.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.